Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl. This is my 75 gallon Juvenile Haps and Peacocks Aquarium. I brought them home on September 30th. I have decided I will do a growth and developmental update on this aquarium on the 30th day of each month, focusing on their changes, growth rate, coloration, and any new developments within this new community. I am very excited and will, I'm sure, post other videos with this tank as my background for other topics I like to discuss or that I feel worth sharing. Now you have already been introduced to this aquarium and its new inhabitants, but not to each individual species in here. Keeping that in mind, I have decided to do a short profile overview for each of the species in this new aquarium. Today, I'm going to begin with my favorite cichlid in this tank. I say that loosely as my favorites change as often as the weather. The Lethronops intermedius. What a gorgeous specimen. This is one of the smaller haps of Lake Malawi of Africa, found in the shallower regions of this lake. This species is fairly common and continues to grow in popularity due to its gorgeous coloration. They have a multitude of colors that will give this beauty an iridescent quality. Their faces and bodies will develop a lovely shiny greenish tint on the upper part and a more yellowish tint on the lower, which will be evident right from head to tail fin. They will also display pink to reddish hues on their fins, making them a strikingly beautiful addition to any aquarium. As we all know, females and in the haps and peacocks genus virtually are colorless. The female Lethronops intermedius is no different as they will also display grays and browns with three black spots down the side of their bodies. These are relatively small haps as they mature no larger than six inches, the females finishing slightly smaller. These are moderately aggressive, even leaning more toward the peaceful side, and do well with most other cichlids. However, like most fish, they will show more aggression during spawning. They make great tank mates for most of the more peaceful peacocks and haps. Their water conditions requirements are 78 to 82 degrees, and their pH levels are preferred at 7.8 to 8.6. To encourage their best and brightest coloration, it's imperative that you mimic their natural habitats to encourage them to display their best colors. Because Lathronops intermedius live in the shallows as they are happiest with caves they can hide in or claim as their own, substrate preferred is sand or fine gravel as they like to renovate. When you provide a harder or larger substrate material for fish that like to dig, they can sustain mouth injuries, so I highly recommend some of the softer, um, finer substrates rather than gravel. These cichlids are carnivores and need a variety of foods that contain a decent amount of protein, providing them with the, with the nutrition they require. There are many wonderful varieties of food you can give them to maintain their best health. I feed mine a combination of Northfin Krill Pro, Northfin Premium Cichlid Formula, along with frozen brine shrimp, bloodworms, and plankton-based flakes, and spirulina. They are great eaters and will overeat if allowed. It's extremely important to keep this in mind and regulate their meals carefully. Feeding them a diet such as I mentioned will not only provide them with optimal health, but will give you the pleasure of seeing the most stunning displays of colors, bringing out the iridescent greens and reds to their full potential. Like most Malawi cichlids, the Lethronops intermedius are mouth brooders. Males will display the iridescent green, yellow, and red colors while the female remain gray and brown with their black spots. It's always best to have one male to every three to four females just to spread out the aggression during spawning times. 
Now because the age of these cichlids, I did purchase between four to six of them, so I have a good chance of having some stunning males. I will, as they mature, allow them to breed. Over time, as the females start holding, I will be removing them, and my plan is to eventually have an all-male community. It's going to be a little while. I'm sure there will be lots of babies, but you know me. That's one of my favorite parts of the hobby. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful week, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.